Bill says off. <laughs> Good afternoon, Lead Geeks. My name's Eric Hegg with Hatch Real Team Fargo, and we have Pete over there in Seattle. Say hi also to uh, Jim, Cody, and Ryan. Uh, today we're going to be working on inbound calls and uh, when this prospective lead is uh, asking for the listing agent or to speak directly to the listing agent. So, Jim, can you tell us a little bit about this and why it's important? Or yeah, Pete? so I mean, we we get these type of calls all the time. Um, really, it's it's how do you figure out what this person actually wants while being respectful? Because sometimes people can be a little bit harsh wanting to just talk to the listing agent, but they might want to talk to the listing agent to set up a showing or to ask the question that you have um, all the information for. So um, it's important because it's just another thing that you're going to get calls on. So let's let's try to tackle it and, and learn and, and grow together. And uh, since Eric is running this instead of Cody, he improperly passed it over to Jim. I am going to be the person handling uh, the, the role playing today. Oh. Uh, so, but Eric had it right and Jim hit it right on the nose. Um, it's easy to call into people when you have all the information in front of you, but when you are answering those incoming calls, um, I know Amber specifically had posted on Facebook about how we handle these. Uh, some of you may deal with very large metro areas or other cities. Ourselves, we're dealing with folks in uh, Minneapolis and Grand Forks and Detroit Lakes and our home city. So we have to be quick on our feet when people are calling and uh, that is what we're going to do. Sorry for shaking. All right, so uh, Eric is gonna be the person handling the incoming calls. Uh, Cody, if you wanna give him a call first and I'll let you know when to stop and then we'll move over to Jim. Can do, I leave for one day, the whole office turns to bedlam, man. <laughs> All right, ring, ring. Good afternoon, this is Eric Hegg with Hatch Realty. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm outside 1212 Electric Avenue. Okay, um, and who is this calling? Uh, Cody. All right, Cody. Um, yeah, what what can I do for you? You got questions? Uh, you got uh, you got somebody to show it? Um, uh, right outside. Well, not not right now. Uh, we don't have someone right now. But uh, what? Uh, let me bring that up and, and see if we can set something up. What uh, what's got you interested in that home, Cody? Uh, I like the place. Like the price looks all right. Okay. What's motivating you to look for a home? Mm, just need a new place. Change the uh, change the scenery. All right. Do you own right now? Or are you renting? Uh, yeah, I own a place. All right. Is that here in, here in Fargo or are you moving in from out of town? I'm, uh, I'm in West Fargo. You got somebody who can show this place, sir? Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen right now, Cody. Sorry. Um, but uh, we can definitely set something up for you. What uh, you know? What's that time frame look like? I don't got a lot of time. Okay. What time works for you? Uh, I got uh, Saturday wide open. Saturday morning uh, till about 1.30. Okay. Um, and uh, what's your time frame looking like for when you want to move? Uh, sooner rather than later. All right. And uh, have you talked to a bank yet to get pre-approval in place? Yeah, I'm pre-approved. Okay. And uh, are you working with an agent yet? Uh, nope. Okay. Um, and uh, what bank did you go through for uh, the pre-approval code? I uh, went through Bell. Why is that important? Oh, just uh, wondering, you know, who we'll be working with if we uh, write an offer up on this place. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. And is this uh, about what you're looking for, if this isn't the right thing? I mean, you're looking for that uh, four-bedroom, two-bath, two-stall garage? I mean, yeah, in general, I'd like to uh, see the inside of it before I really commit to, to saying this is what I'm looking for. But Yeah, absolutely. All right. And uh, is this about the price range we're looking at, a 250 range? Yeah, I can go up to three hundo, but uh, prefer to keep it around that two fifty. Gotcha. All right. And uh, you know, you, do you work here in, in Fargo, Cody? Or uh, yeah, yeah, I work here in Fargo. Okay, so you're familiar with the area and everything. Yeah. All right. Are you trying to stay in the West Fargo side? Uh, it's, it's hit or miss. Not really terribly important to me, but uh, if we can, then we can. Okay. We'll have the house. For me, really. I'll be good there. Yep. Thank you, Cody. Thanks, Eric. Uh, in, in Jim, instead of you, Ryan, I want you to go next. Um, so you give Eric a call. Eric, same scenario, incoming call. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> ring, ring. Good afternoon. This is Eric Hegg with Hatch Realty. Hi, Eric. Hey, Ryan here. 
Hey Ryan, what can I do for you? Hey, gosh, you know, I'm I'm calling about 123 Viking Wind Circle. Um, I'd like to get into that property and see it. Okay. Uh, um, let's see. Let me bring that up here real quick. Okay. Uh, you said it was 123 Viking Wind Circle. Yeah, yeah, the one with the that's the yellow house with the purple shutters on it. Oh, yep. Okay, I know exactly which one you're talking about. Uh huh. It's a nice place. I like it. Yeah, what uh, what's motivating you to uh, you know look for a home, right? Well, gosh, you know it's it's just my wife and I, and uh, you know we just got married, and was really super stoked, uh, you know, that we're looking for this house, and I think I think we found it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys um, are you working with an agent right now? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, who are you working with? Uh, I'm I, I'm working with uh, a, a, it's a different company. I, I just clicked on the link here. That's how I ended up calling here. So, I, are you not the listing person, or or who did I call here? Uh, no, we uh, we are listing that one, and um, but uh, you know, ethically speaking, we're we're supposed to kind of limit our our conversations with people if they're um, oh. represented by a, by an agent. So, oh. um, the best thing to do would probably be to call your agent and then have uh, have them set up the the showing for you, and they'll know how to go through that. Oh, that's that's weird. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, oh, all right. So you can't help me at all, then, huh? Um, well, I can answer some questions about it if uh, you know if if that's needed. Do you have any specific questions about the listing? Well, gosh, you know, I'm. Well, I'm all that's, that's good. That's perfect. Thanks, Ryan. All right, Jimmy. You better call. Diggly diggly do. What was yeah, that? That's my ring. Oh, okay. I didn't hear it. I thought it was charcoal. Uh, good afternoon. This is Eric Egg with Hatch Realty. Yeah, Eric, come over here on uh, 1313 6th Avenue South. I need to take a look at it. Uh, okay. Uh, who's this call? Yeah, it's Jim. Jim. All right. Uh, what's, uh, let me bring that up here real quick. But uh, what's uh, motivating you to look for a home, Jim? Uh, this looks like a good one. Okay. What do you like about it? Uh, I like the, the look from the curb. I haven't okay. seen the inside. I want to take a look at the inside. Yeah. All right. Um, you working with an agent right now, Jim? Nope. Are you uh, pre-approved yet? Uh, I mean, I talked to my bank a while ago. They said that's a bit fine. You know. Okay. And uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, I mean, they said I'd be fine. Okay. For uh, for what price point? Uh, you know, they they said you know probably. Like four eighty two per month payment. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And um, and uh, so what? Uh, bringing up the bringing up the home here, uh, it listed at uh, two twelve. Is that? Um, do you have a uh, some cash saved up for a down payment as well? Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, how much per? How much do you plan on putting down, Jim? As far as percentage? Uh, about about uh, you know three percent. Okay. And have you talked to the bank about uh, you know getting the um, getting the loan in place? Do you know what type of loan you'd be using? If it's VA uh, or FHA? No, I, don't know. I mean, they just said I was good to go. Okay. Uh, 482 payment. I just want to take a look at this one, uh, Eric. When can I take a look? Okay. Um, let me check. Are, are you the listing agent? Or who's the listing agent? Not? Uh, yeah, we we are listing that home. Um, okay. So, so you said we? It's, it's not you. It's our company. Natalie Deutsch is the listing agent on that one. Oh, so I should talk to Natalie then. Uh, well, I take all all her calls for her as well. So, um. But uh, yeah, so th this home. I mean, tell me about what you're what you're looking for in a home, Jim. Uh, you know, I just I just need a new 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 fresh start. So. Okay. Uh, what do you mean by that? What's that? What do you mean by that? Uh, you know, just having some personal changes. So just just want to get a new place. Okay. All right. So um, the first step, Jim, would be to you know talk to that that bank. Um, yeah, what, I did. Yep. Who do you yep. usually yep. bank with? What's that? Who do you who do you do your banking with? Uh, I was Abby over at Gate City. Okay. And um, yeah, so the first step is probably going to be talk to them and uh, you know make sure that this is something that's uh, 
within your price point there for the 482 a month payment. Uh, because if it's not, um, you know, you're going to want to get the pre-approval letter in case you want to write an offer on it. And uh, most offers won't be accepted unless they're accompanied by pre-approval or proof of funds. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I had already talked with him, Eric. So can I take a look at this house? Okay. Um, without the, so you plan on putting putting three percent down, which would, on this one would be right around six thousand. I'm just doing some some quick calculations here. And so you're, so you're telling me I'm I'm too poor to look at this house, Eric? Is that what you're telling me on the phone right now? I just don't want you to look at it and then you know get. Uh, Who's out on a, on a deal here? Because uh, with only three percent interest down, you'd probably be looking at uh, about a, a the one hundred thousand dollar range mm. for the home. Uh, is there somebody that's going to be co-signing the loan with you or assisting with a additional down payment? No, no, she left me, Eric. So it's just me now. And we'll stop it there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jim never gives me a good break. <laughs> That'd be hard. That was great. <laughs> All right. Uh, good job, guys. We'll just uh, go backwards, uh, keep it short, just what you thought about um, the call. Uh, so, Cody, go first, then Ryan, the gym, and I'll wrap it up. Do we do self reflection first? <laughs> yeah, if you want to, go ahead, Eric. Oh, okay. Um, so, the gym call, I mean, he didn't say what it was listed for. So, I just kind of went with the FM medium price-ish area of 212 uh just because that i know is a really common call when someone's looking at a home and uh they're not pre-approved haven't even talked to the bank yet or maybe they you know the same thing where they they think they're good um so i i kind of threw that in there didn't know what price point jim was expecting to look at um i think i definitely could have handled that better and i've identified dealing with the high d's and the incoming office calls from Zillow or sign calls is is one of my weaknesses, so it's kind of dreading working on that today. Okay, all right, thanks, Eric. I'll I'll follow up with that as well. Cody, you want to do your uh, critique? Yeah, no, I think uh, overall it was pretty good. Um, really, the only piece that I have at all is that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you know, you did a great job of coming back with that's not going to happen right now, but you know, and then coming back and kind of laying the tracks as to where you could go the conversation. So as a high D, I respected that and I like that. So good job with that. Okay. Nice guy. That's you, Ryan. <laughs> I'm quite sure if you're talking to me or not, but I appreciate that. <laughs> no, I agree with Cody. Um, still, even while you're talking with Cody, Eric, it just kind of felt like you didn't get out of the way fast enough. I know that's a struggle area of mine too, especially when talking with uh, with the D. And I know you and I have talked about that before too. Um, with me, um, I, I like how you just got pretty much right to the point. Um, I was trying to go all over the place, but yet you pulled in and, and asked the pertinent questions. So um, I thought it was a good job with that. Um, and then with Jim, um, I really liked the dig, um, getting in further and then setting the right expectations and not being afraid of that pushback. And uh, Jim, if that's how really where you were going to go next, where like she left me, I think that would have been uh, uh, continue, a nice continuation of that call because to me it, it was a, a sign that he earned your trust in a way. So I thought that was cool. All right. Go ahead, Jimmy. All right. So I'll go with uh, Cody's call first. Um, I did a good job with pretty direct questions. Um, the one thing I thought you kind of had some misconnect on um, was the, hey, do you work around here part? Uh, mm -hmm. I think you're just kind of going through the routine. Yeah, um, a little bit. Sometimes the way to do that with a high D is like, hey, what's your schedule like? What uh, What's your work schedule like to get this set up? We can't do it right now, but let's find something to do. Okay. So, go there. so that's, that's one point. Um, with Ryan, you never asked him if he was under contract. He said he had an agent, but oh, under contract. I never signed anything. So, um, and the ethically speaking part, I think we can maybe just explain that a little bit of still being helpful and then digging a little bit more. So, hey, you know, I mean, ethically speaking, we're not supposed to talk to anybody that's under contract. Did you guys sign anything, or are you just kind of been looking at some open houses with people? What's what's been going on? Yeah. 
Um, I did not ask if they did paperwork. No. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a good separation too. Good, good point. Yeah, and then with me, um, I felt like you were basically judging. I know you were doing your job and not wanting to show someone that's that's not pre-approved um, to that amount. But sh I mean, still, let's try to get them in. Let's try to get them. If they're pre-approved and have a pre-approval letter, even if it's a low amount, yeah, let's get them in. And I so, think we just have to talk to them about. I like the line you were saying with, "Hey, um, we just don't want you to get your hopes up on this one," because and then use a story. Hey, we've had clients that looked at something that was outside their price point, and they got really disappointed. It really ruined their whole experience and kind of wrecked that first house. I mean, that happened with me and Ainsley when we bought this this last house, guys. Um, and so now, you know, I've been through that, so I can have that conversation a little bit easier with people um but i think you know digging and really finding out well what's what's motivating you you know i said i wanted a fresh start well, tell me more about that and then i kind of climbed up well hey well what do you want in your fresh start what do you want in this house to have a fresh start and then go from there to help build that rapport so okay i got a little long pete what uh, what feedback do you have yeah so uh overall great job eric um with with cody um to so you said uh, it's not going to work right now like cody had mentioned that how that was a good thing how you followed it up um it, it's good to put your foot down but i thought it was too negative you did immediately follow it up with how can i help but instead of just flat out saying no being like well you know we need to get some some things scheduled let's figure out your schedule like jim had said i think would have been a better way to uh, to handle that um also it's it's very possible you would have figured it out if i let the call go on longer but um, with somebody who is pre-approved, um, you didn't get a for sure on the timeline with Cody. Um, he basically was getting ready to move immediately. So if he's pre-approved um, and calling about a house, if you wait until Saturday to book him, he's calling somebody else when he gets off the phone with you and you're going to lose it. Yeah. Um, so if he's not, not that you have to rush somebody out there to show him that house, but figure out a schedule and get him in sooner than that. Um, with Ryan, great job on figuring out he was working with somebody. Uh, a lot of these people who are calling in uh, might be working with somebody already, and then you know, other people have addressed the, the whole ethical issue of working, so you get on that. Uh, Jim, um, the thing with Jim was that he actually wasn't going to be ready to buy until later this year, if at all. So while um, you weren't necessarily, you were maybe a little bit harsher with them than needed to be right away. I think if that conversation would have went on longer, you'd have figured that that out because you were starting to open up to you. So uh, overall, good job. Um, and then I'll just kind of wrap up the the three three points. When it comes to incoming calls, important to figure out if they're working with somebody uh, because you don't want to be stepping on people's toes. Important to figure out pre-approval and afford, important to figure out timeline. Realistically, those are the same three things you're figuring out with every call that you're on. But while it's while it's extra important for incoming calls is you have somebody like Cody who, if you don't book them or don't get them to come in sooner rather than later, you are going to lose it. Um, so it's when people are just starting to look, you have a little bit more time. When people are calling into the office, you need to quickly figure out um, what their timeline is and pre-approval to make sure you get them in the office, especially as we're coming up on this busier season. Uh, and that's all I got. Uh, Eric, you can close it out or if anybody else needs to say anything else. Any final input from the group? No, nope. we're good. All right. Well, that's it from uh, Fargo to Seattle. This is uh, Leeds Geeks signing off.